One area of difficulty that people commonly talk about is problems with mobility in the community, problems using public transit. So for example, following a stroke, we're used to seeing people with motor problems that interfere, but these high-level cognitive problems also interfere, so it's difficult for them to plan a route and figure out what to do if something unexpected happens. The intervention we're using gives them a strategy to use so that they set out a plan and do that plan and that allows them to become more mobile again. Well, my research is ultimately about helping people to do what they want to do and need to do in their everyday life. And specifically, I'm talking about people who have some kind of cognitive impairment, particularly executive function impairment. Executive functions are high-level cognitive functions that allow us to plan, organize our day, monitor our behavior, set goals for ourselves, and so on. And after many types of brain pathology, and also with aging, we see changes in people's executive functions. They become less effective. So we've been um, developing an intervention and testing it to help people overcome their executive function impairments and be able to do what they need to do in their everyday life. I was really interested to come and work with Deirdre at the Rotman Institute because as an occupational therapist, uh, through my PhD studies, I've been looking at how the implications for cognition on everyday function and especially uh, people's safety in the community. And so I've been very interested to learn about this novel intervention, but also have been looking at assessment measures. How best can we assess how cognition influences function? We actually have somebody in our study who wasn't able to use public transit for 15 years and through using this approach he was once again able to use the TTC to get where he wanted to go. We think this research has uh, tremendous potential to have economic implications as well as to provide considerable benefit for family members and caregivers. I've been very fortunate to have had my research funded by the Canadian Institutes of Health Research, the Ontario Neurotrauma Foundation, and the Centre for Stroke Recovery. And funding from these agencies has allowed us to collect pilot data about the efficacy of this intervention, as well as to begin to carry out a larger randomized control trial, which we're in the middle of right now. What additional funding will allow us to do is to answer questions about where in the trajectory of recovery is this intervention best delivered. At the moment we're working with people who are at least six months post-stroke or post-brain injury. Um, we think it might be more effective if we could start earlier. Uh, we'd also like to know whether booster sessions would be helpful. As we see immediately post-treatment people are doing better but three to six months down the road when we call them up, some of those gains are lost and we'd like to help them maintain those gains. My name is Deirdre Dawson and I'm a senior scientist at the Rotman Research Institute.